with your mouth on a fixing cap with the iconic Dave's Steve, the delicious spicy chicken sandwich, spicy or crispy 10 piece nuggets, or just get another classic chicken sandwich. Taste greatness today with Wendy's two for five. We got you. For a limited time, a la carte only. Price and participation may vary in U.S. and only.
Testing, testing. Let's see. Testing, testing. Can everybody hear me okay? Losing my voice. I've been yelling at students all day. Just letting them have it, if you know what I mean. Actually, I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> it's not true. I haven't. I promise I haven't been yelling at any students. I am Night Fury says, yep, yep. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of my timer, my starting soon timer. Uh, I am Night Fury. How's it going? Awesome, awesome. I'm glad to have you here. Dawn and Dusk. Hey, hey, hey. Fuzzy Ferret. Howdy. And Mystic Aditya. Thanks for the comment. So, spoiler alert. We're going to be playing the Stanley Parable tonight. And here's the way we're going to attempt to do this is have it be a think aloud session. In a way, it's going to be think aloud, but me reading the chat. I'm hoping to get a lot of comments in the chat. Uh, so for those who are not a part of the level design class I teach, we just went over a really good GDC talk called Mastering Place and Mastering Space. It's all about using interior design principles in level design. Uh, to help divine spaces, one of the th one of the games that they used uh, specifically in that GDC talk was the Stanley Parable, and I think it incorporates a lot of the uh, the interior design principles mentioned in that talk. So, the plan is we are going to do a playthrough of the Stanley Parable. I don't know how long that playthrough will be, um, but you in the chat, whether you're one of my students or not, please speak up if you notice anything interesting. We're especially talking about the emotional ramifications of the space. And some of those principles we talked about uh, physical space versus implied uh, what are the emotional feelings you get from it and any of the changes and why they happen in the game it's a very gamey game so let's kick it off let's just get started <clears throat> it just seems like the right thing to do The right thing to do and the right time to do it. Oh my gosh. First time setup and installation. I apologize. Okay, hopefully this won't take too long. We we have now got to install the Microsoft VC redistribution package. And away we go. It didn't take that long. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is going on? Okay, here we go. Okay, I can't remember. Is this is this game? Um, can you use a controller in this game, or is it required to be a mouse, uh, mouse and keyboard? I always forget. I really like games with controllers, but I think what we'll do is we'll just use the old mouse and keyboard because why not? When in Rome. When in Rome. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have the sound going on. So beginning of the game here, we've got a computer. Oh, look at this. When I move my mouse, it shows It shows my mouse inside the mouse, inside the mouse. Is that a metaphor? Is that a metaphor we're looking at? Where it shows, it's like a, a in, eternal mirror inside your computer? I have never noticed that before. So it's got the game within the game. Within the game, it's the inception. Okay, let's well let's get started. I can tell the chat is busy. End is never end is never end is never end. Farland Winter says me neither. I guess you didn't notice it either. Okay, we're loading. Let's load this game. Let's do this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so, <coughs> Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And 
Stanley was handy. And Stan so Stan I'm Stanley, I'm employee 427. Peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest. So there's definitely used desks. He, his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So look, I can now move around. I can look around. So, so initially, Snugglepup says having 427 painted on the desk gives some unnerving expression to the world right from the beginning. Uh, I am Night Fury says, I uh, love how he types with a single finger. So notice too, like look at my desk. So it's definitely beat up and used. No personal items. So we talked about enrichment and showing that someone lived there. So with all the scuffs and everything it does, look at the... I just noticed this. Look at the wires going underneath your desk, too. That looks like not even a comfortable place to work. Like you talk about the implied versus physical space. That kind of shows that the, the wires and the mechanical objects really take up your space uh, that you're sitting at. I, these are things I never really noticed before. Okay, so we're going to look around. Okay, so I do have a coffee mug that says, uh, I think it says, I hate Mondays. I can't tell, I can't zoom in. And then over here, this is my room. So it's very claustrophobic. So you've got your uh, filing desk and then they've stuffed filing desks on the other side. Uh, so that I, so I'm in like a storage closet, essentially. That is 427's room. Where's that big wire going though? Okay, that wire is going down through that, through that table and over here somewhere interesting okay so the question is what do i do now what happens if i stay here long enough does the narrator yell at me <clears throat> so we can definitely see where we need to go the light is shining out the door uh piecewise dumpster fire says no windows would suck right so no windows we have a painting up in the corner so this is what 427 looks at all the time and it's a road with some green hill. It's a it's a path. It's an unknown path. So I think even that is saying something to it. Like, like where does that road take you to? I don't know. I'm just talking. So here's some more implied space with the uh, lights, which they're off as well. It's interesting. Awesome Ocity says the PC master race would not approve of that wiring. Okay, so this is a nice brightly lit hallway. So I'm going from the dark to the brightly lit hallway. And you can see we have a hall. It, it goes straight down and then it opens up to the left. So either they want you to go directly to that front door, the straight ahead, or to the left. But let's try and open a door. Can't open it. Okay, there's somebody else's cubicle. Nobody's there. They've got a single painting on the wall as well. They've got a window into the hallway. A couple papers strewn out. No personal effects, but that's number 429. And a yellow box. Each one has a yellow box. I think what that yellow box is, uh, that's what you carry your stuff away when you get fired. I'm assuming. Feel free to chime in. Lots of box on the floor. They're kind of messy people, aren't they? co-workers were gone, what could it mean? <clears throat> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, we're going to go to the meeting room. I'm guessing that's straight ahead because the narrator kind of implied it. I can't go in this door either. So this is a good use of implied space uh, as well. So even though this is one big space, uh, this copy machine in the center kind of moves you around into a circle. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, I can turn off computers. Cool. Oh, I turned that one off, apparently. Oh, I can, I can walk on the desk. So that's fascinating. I can't jump, but I walked right up on that desk. Right up on it. Interesting. <laughs> okay, we got a we got a cop the nice looking copy machine. Bright windows. Bright windows sure look enticing. I can't open those either. 
I wanted to. This desk just has a pencil sharpener. I wonder what happened to 432. And there's a numbers, look at that underneath there, there's numbers too, G814 floor one. It really, there's more detail in this game than I initially thought. The same cup, I hate Mondays. So not a lot of personality. Uh, this cup says who farted. That cup says who farted, that's great. And there's a, a flower in the corner, or a plant, not a flower. Okay, so we are going to go into the break room. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. It's the Pixar lamp. Is that the Pixar lamp? It is. Okay. So here's another painting, another mountain. It's showing people images of nature, of outside, of a place you'll never actually go. So I am Night Fury says the fallen papers give the expression people might have left in a hurry. Yeah, that's true, huh? Can't open that door. Okay, we're still going. Is this, have I been, no, this is a new area. So this is what I'm talking about, about kind of getting lost in the area. These are very similar, similar looking places. Same things on all the computers. Oh, I can turn them off. I can't turn them on. Who farted? Another who farted cup. They really like that cup. Okay, there is another. Is that right? No, that's not where I came from. But that's okay. There's a door over there that looks a little different. That looks like an alleyway. So notice like the conduits going on the wall and the cinder block facade. These, these are the patterns that I'm talking about. They don't fit the interior pattern that we're seeing. So that gives me a clue that that looks like an escape just from eyeballing the, the conduit going along the wall and the different kind of pattern going on. And those yellow boxes again. What do they mean, Basil? Okay, here we go. We're going to go through. Okay, and there's that conduit again. So we notice there's a different type of office space. <sighs> Asterid says, typical of a boring workplace? Maybe. Okay, what is this picture? That is another picture of nature. Okay, this, what? Okay, this room has a, I didn't notice all this stuff last time. So this tells the story too. There's a ladder and there they've removed ceiling panels in there. Filing cabinets are half opened. It's like, and this has boxes of coffee mugs. Are they escaping through the ceiling? I can't go in there. Okay, I'm directed. I hate Mondays. Of course I do. Okay, is there anything behind here? So this hallway, this space directs you right through here. Another big open window so you can see. They really want you to see. There's more of that, that uh, cord on the ground. They got a whiteboard. I want to see what's on that whiteboard. So indicators that there's more play space that I can eventually get to. But I am definitely when directed. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This is the first time I've seen two doors to enter. So he wants me to enter on the door of the left, of course. Of course he does. So we are going to enter the one on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Look at this room. This room is... This definitely gives you a vibe, right? Okay. I cannot enter that door. Let's keep going. I apologize if I'm jerking the mouse around. I'm trying to do smooth motions. I know it can be annoying when people zip around. Looking around here. Okay. 449. All these numbers. 4450 or 450. Okay, all the same thing, no personal effects at all. Okay, now this is different. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. So you have this major room here. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been <laughs> worth the detour after all. Yes. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, I did. The, it, probably the most interesting room in this game. Each door keeps closing behind me. But this... Yes. Okay. Really, he's still, really worth it being here in the room. He's still talking. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. 
But it is the first interesting room of the whole game, where you have this implied space. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and oh. reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Implied space. Apparently, I'm creepy because I'm hanging out in the uh, employee lounge. Okay, so you... Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I'm not going to move. Now I'm, now I'm just going to be stubborn. So the clock is moving. That's interesting. So it's, uh, it's about 11.36. Got some spilled papers over here. Mugs and folders. And I can't look at any... That same picture. This is the same picture that was in my office. All right, we're going to finally move. There's a coffee machine. Can't grab it. All right, here we go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. And the door closes. And the first open door on his left to get back to business. 452. Here we go. The first door on the left. That's what I'm supposed to take. It looks scary, though. It looks creepy. So I'm not going to do it. What? What is this? A4. You've got blueprints, some top-down game maps, and a piece of wood on the wall. So even that, that's interesting. It's like a fake Stanley was window. So bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Ooh, sudden change, it says. Okay. Let's uh, let's check out here. So this is a... Uh, oh, it's stairs. Okay. And I'm locked in here, right? Yeah, there's no way out. Okay, so I'm locked in this room. This is uh, this reminds me of like Dunder Mifflin when they go and work and look in the uh, where the paper is actually stored. Look at those! Look at those storage units! Look at all those files! How do they get to them? I guess they use this. Uh, penalty for misuse: cargo lift thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift: five thousand dollars. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Okay. Does it move if I go out on it? Look, Stanley, I think oh, it does. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've wait, been neglecting, wait. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. So look at this space. Who is her? Uh, this is interesting. Look at that walkway. Like, this is interesting. So, uh, from a game design standpoint. So you've got this walkway. Could I have jumped off onto that and gotten to that door? I think I could have. Would it have let me jump off of this? Um, there's nothing holding it up. And it didn't bother me until I just noticed that. There's no cables coming from the ceiling and there are no poles going from below. Uh, Snugglepup says, hmm, the do not jump sign makes me wonder if there are vocabulary for level design techniques that entice the player with reverse psychology. I think that's exactly what it is. Someone says it looks like engineering drawing equipment. So look at the size of this warehouse too. You've got the interesting roofs. Skylights, they make it interesting and uh, enriches the space, right? Big windows on that side. Okay, we're just looking at it from a spatial context. I really wish, while this was going over, I had jumped off of this. I don't know if it would have killed me, but I think I could have. I'm going to try. Standing. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I don't know who her is. I'm going to see if I can go back. Will this take me back? No. I want... Does anyone know if I can jump off onto that? I feel like I'm progressing too far. Too fast. Okay, I can't... This is very similar to where I came from. Okay, now that door is closed. Okay, we've got very tall ceilings, 
Uh, interesting use of space, right? So you've got that big hallway and a small door. See, this space didn't have to be this large, but they're trying to show you that. Uh, Dr. Hat says you can jump onto that catwalk. I wish I had. Okay, we're, this is dark. This is dark. What feeling does that give? Like, I feel like I shouldn't... I can't drive that. I feel like I shouldn't enter the dark hallway. Seems like a bad idea. Uh, That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. This is interesting. Can I unplug it? Stanley picked <gasps> up the phone. I unplugged it. Light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited <laughs> one. Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. I just started the game. Wrong choices. You might have negated it entirely. I've actually it's never played this part before. Ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. I've never seen this Please happen. Observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Wow, this is interesting. It's the best part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> what? What? A back sack and Excellent. crack? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Wow. I, ah, what? Back. What happened? I have noticed what? This room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Oh, this is awesome. Don't worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. What? I, I've never, so look at this. Uh, this room sure has changed, right? Uh, it even looks like these um, forklifts are pointing me out the door. Let's do this. Uh, I've never, you know, I play this game and I've never had it play the same way twice. Okay, so that forklift, or this lift that takes me across has now been... 
Wait, what? We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Oh my gosh, now I can't jump. And I can't and I can't fall into the uh, catwalk. Fascinating. So they boxed me in. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Interesting. How many endings does this game have? Okay, where am I supposed to go now? So this is going back where I came from. Somebody's opening the doors for me. Does it not? Is it not supposed to bother me that ghosts are opening and closing doors for me? So they're taking away my choices. Do not lie if you are lying right now. Stop. Okay, so here is... That drawer wasn't open before, I swear. Okay. So here's that beautiful break room. Is this going to take... There, you'll take the door on the left... Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay, great. Well, I need that. I need that kind of closure in my life. Now remember, all okay. you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. I'm watching. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> Josh when Nelson Stanley says there are 19 engines, endings. Open doors, he entered the door on his left. So here's the question. What do I do? I kind of want to take the door on the right again. Uh, let's ask the class, what should I do? Josh Nelson says there are 19 endings. Okay, we're going right. You guys are going to help me. Take the door behind you. Will that one open? It won't open. Okay. I can't go behind me. Follow your heart. <laughs> No! Uh, I'm Why did you do Whoa. that? Whoa! Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. This is cool. We have, we have issues. Okay, so this is what we talk about novel novelty, right? So this stuff looks kind of novel at this moment, right? Carpet on the walls, uh, weirdly shaped uh, filing cabinets. Okay, let's go back through here. We're going to pretend to go that way. Then we're going to go that way. Nope. So they don't let you go. They won't let me go the way I want to go. I, I can no longer make a choice. I can't go right. There's no way. They've, they've blocked me. I'm sad. Okay. So they forced my hand. I no longer have uh, freedom of choice. We're going left. We're going left. And they left the door open, though. Isn't that interesting? It's not closing behind me. He's so quiet. Okay, what? Whoa. Uh, okay. Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut This looks like I should be able to go up this. To really destroy all uh. my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I remember playing this game and trying to open every door. I don't think it ever worked for me, though. Lot of wasted time. That's awesome. Whoa, wait, what'd I miss? He got mad. What just happened? Wait, what just happened? Where? I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. What? Who thought you were so clever now look where we are my entire game is destroyed it was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground <laughs> what did you think that would be funny you just had to see didn't i impress upon you how important it was to be like stanley 
Snuggle Pups, that's a very enriched space. It is. It's more interesting, isn't it? Do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Wait, what happened? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibility. What? He just stopped. Putting the story first. He just stopped. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the top. Okay, look how clean it is. Is this how clean it was before? <clears throat> There's when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm going to go to the right again because I can't help it. I want to do the wrong thing because he gets so mad. It's like positive reinforcement. What should I do? Should I just finally make the man happy and go to the left? And make no man happy. Okay. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is <laughs> behave exactly as Stan. Oh my gosh, this is that funny. Means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? This game has now become less about level design, more about just making the narrator mad. Okay. Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the. I have a feeling that this is an eternal loop. Fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. Fine. Fine. Is everything okay now? There's that yellow box. Oh, look, the chairs are all back to normal. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. By quarterly post review review, how to solve and dispute with how to solve a dispute with a coworker. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressive. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Okay. All right, so we have down. No, we only have up. We cannot go down. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's well, it was my only choice. Oh, someone said try at least one more time. Again, again, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is what we talked about with patterns and enrichment. So finally, we're seeing something else. So we have this elaborate wallpaper, uh, higher ceilings. Those are pretty tall out there too. No, I think they may be taller. Wood casing, large windows, uh, different colored chairs. So obvious, a di obviously a different type of uh, feeling, right? It's interesting that they put this kind of a look in this mundane like office space, right? This is where the boss man lives. There's the receptionist desk. She has a pamphlet, business time, it says. Okay. This is the boss. A uh, little deep. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned yeah. to discover not an indication of any human life. A lot of contrast. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And yep. beyond all <clears throat> probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark. One one five. Night shark one one five. Code to open the door. What? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself right. the courage to face the unknown. Maybe I will. Maybe he I won't. Drew a sharp <clears throat> breath, and then spoke the code. You want me to speak the code? So notice the wallpaper. It was red in the other room, and now it's green. So that creates a contrast to the shape language. Uh, the walls near that door are rounded, so that's further enrichment, uh, different shape. Spoke the code. And then it faces, creates like a... Also has different shaped windows. 
I'm trying to talk over this narrator and he won't be quiet. Someone said, is that a poster of a panda being? I'm sorry, it is. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Yeah, the panda with a gun to the head. That is creepy, isn't it? Yeah, see, it has okay, different fine. windows. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty <clears throat> humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single Look thing. Look at that floor. That's creepy. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then hmm. why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. So there was a bookshelf in front of that door, I just realized. Oh my gosh, this is cool. What is this? This is awesome. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Did I just beat the game? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. <laughs> I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. I thought this game was unbeatable. I thought it always just reset. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. We did. We just speed we just sped run Stanley Parable. We just beat the game. So we came here to study level design and we just did it. We just broke a world record. I didn't know this game had an ending. Play it again. Right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. The end is never the end is never the end. It just reset me. Doesn't it look different now? Wait, wait, wait. What? Whoa, what just happened? It just shut up. It just shut off. No. Why? 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 What happened? Come on, Stanley. What? What? I think the game just shut off on me. Oh, there it is. Is it just restart again? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps this is... he had simply missed a memo. Is this the same world? This looks different, doesn't it? This is different. Hold on, what is going on here? This is not the same level I started in. This takes me straight to those two doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I thought this was the end, but this is... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. They lied to me. I thought I beat the game. Wow. But I didn't. Yes, this room... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, this takes me back. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's telling me the same thing. Five years ago. So I can get off on that catwalk, right? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. Well, did I always go that high? Okay, here we go. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone Can we do it? 
Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to We're looking at this space. This, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I don't know what to do. This just gets weirder and weirder. Huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> okay. Stanley walked through the red so the door. So red pill or blue pill? So apparently, um, I have to go through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. <laughs> you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. I thought I the beat the game. These choices. It's the sucking me in. Trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running so look at this maze. We're going around. Right Wait, now. no. Let's look at this. So this this I turned into a, a loop, right? I would. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think. Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Okay, where am? I? Wait. What? What just happened, and why did it do that? Like it keeps hmm. stopping on me. What do we want? What are we looking for? I think that's a glitch on my end. What is this? <gasps> what is this? Okay, here's some more weird. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If How's this space? Right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley. I think I feel. I actually feel happy. <laughs> okay, so I feel happy. Alright, let's go. We don't want him to... F what no, is the drywall? Wait. Where are you going? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I never died, so I haven't died once. That's the thing. So look at the look at these stairs too. I want you to notice these are proper uh, spiral staircases. They have a platform at the top of each one. It doesn't make me sick when I climb them. This is an eerie experience. What? There's oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is not cool. What? Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I didn't want to do this. Okay, I'm not going to do it. They want me to, right? That's not a real door. Does anyone have any suggestions? I don't think I can progress from here. Can I walk off into the abyss? To that area? Okay, that is where I came from. That, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, this is creepy. Uh, JZL Gaming, thanks for stopping by, my friend. What is that? Okay. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't. Flapjack, how's just, it going? Just stay here. <laughs> raid. JZL Gaming, thanks for the raid. So I am playing a uh, Stanley Parable with my level design class from the University of Utah. So everyone stopping by. I hope this is the kind of action you were looking for. But we're uh, we're playing the Stanley Parable. So, the narrator's happy here. Can I walk off the edge in here? That's the question. I can't. So, I'm glass walled around this weird ethereal platform. All right. They give me no choice. They give me no choice. So, I have to take it. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I have to, I have to uh, jump before, off. Didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? The JCL Gaming, how are you doing, my friends? Yes, this is... So every time I've played this game, I've gotten a completely different uh, ending. And I was just trying to show off some level design tropes. And it's turned into this. It's turned into this moment here. Uh, JZL Gaming says, awesome to use this game to talk about level design. It's perfect. It is a really good game. Cheese, please, says, hello, collegiate undergrad. 
Uh, thank you, Krill, for the follow. Let's see. Okay, I guess this is it. No! Ouch. Oh, I can still look around, though. God. What? You lived. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm still alive! Can we please get back to the other room? What? I'm immortal. I'm the immortal Stanley. So where? What room am I going to? Wait, wait. The the other room? Wait, is there something on the ground now? That wasn't there before. That little crayon picture? I swear it wasn't there. Can't. Okay, that's still that room. That is not. Okay, we're gonna try again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do now. Let me take my broken legs upstairs again. Oh, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God. <laughs> This is terrible. This is really how much you dislike my game. This is horrible. You yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? All right. Here we go. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know what else to do. I just wanted us to get you actually want to stay alive or are you just teasing me? Okay, here's this room again. There's no other option. Happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Did I ruin it? More jumps? Okay. What makes me mad is we beat the game, didn't we? Didn't we beat it? It had the end and everything. But then we went back. And the game changed. Okay. He's not talking now. He's quiet. There's no dialogue. Isn't that weird? Just silence. This must mean something if there's no dialogue. He's not telling me not to. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh my gosh. And now it's back to normal. So is this a whole new game? Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. I did. I beat it. I did, it had the end and it had credits. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he and this was not the correct way to the meeting. Where's room. that? Stanley where's that office well, that you can go sit in? He wanted to stop by where's that storage? First, just to admire it. Wasn't there a storage lounge? I think it's in the other one. Okay, so we're going to go through here and we're going to get back on track then. A work of art. What but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the okay. first open door. So let's just left. do what he says here. And so he detoured through the maintenance What section, is this? Walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. This is like where I was. Or is it the same? Cutscene says, as he says, we're going back. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um from here. It's um left. Oh, there we go. Oh no, no, it's to the right. My mistake. I have, I can't. I played this game several times. I've never no, seen. No, 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 not the right. Why <sighs> ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Is it going to be it's to the left? Clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? It's got to flick through it. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down. <laughs> Jeez, left, please. Right. He did get me good. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. All right, JZL Gaming, you have a good night. Where did that open up? What opened? Okay. This truck. Interesting. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. I've no, seen this one before. I've been here before. This is where they spy on everybody. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to back to um. Oh, 
Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Now you restarted it. JZL Gaming, thanks for the shout out. Thanks for the 100 bits for the University of Utah. We're actually going to end the stream here. Uh, for all my students that stuck around, I hope you gave some good thought and some pondering to the stuff we talked about with uh, with that GZ talk we watched. We're going to move on. Uh, work on those first assignments. This game never ends. This never ends. Uh, I've never played all the same stuff. For all the people at JD, uh, JZL Gaming, thank you for stopping by. Uh, class is now over. You are dismissed. I'm going to go ahead and raid somebody since I was raided so uh, graciously by JZL Gaming. JZL, were you playing uh, Mario Maker? Cheese Please says, GG, y'all. This game is choices and atmosphere. Play games like this, yes. Thank you for the show. Teaching through Twitch, yes. We're trying to. We played Minecraft in marbles. Do you have any suggestions on who we should uh, raid? I wonder if, uh, let's see if, oh my gosh, just stop. I've got to get my, my controller over. Uh, it's common courtesy to send a raid out at the end of each uh, stream. Let's see, let me check Twitch and see if I know everybody who's streaming right now. That was awesome. Uh, let's, we could raid a 3D mentor. We could raid another professor at the University of Utah. Or, my buddy Lone Star, who's another Salt Lake City streamer. Does anyone have a uh, Farlowin says 3D Mentor? 3D Mentor it is. Here we go. Uh, Flasher129 says I sound like a pretty cool teacher. I appreciate that. I try to be semi-cool. All right, let's, uh, let's say hi to 3D Mentor. Uh, he should be making art. Everyone give him, everyone give him a warm uh, hello, a big shout out, a uh, checkpoint raid. <laughs> Very cool thing. You're awesome. JZL, JZL, thank you so much for the raid. All my students, thanks for being awesome. Next week, we're going to be playing their first passes of their location study. All uh, Stanley Parable. Should be a lot of fun on Twitch. Here we go.